from IMEI Gurus. Just want to make a little video here of how to use Odin. I know it's been giving a lot of people some issues. We've been requiring people to do it for upgrading and downgrading phones. Samsung's new security, unfortunately, um, this is a requirement on some devices. So what we need you to do, where we would give you this page right here, how to use Odin. Um, we would give you the link for this. We will also have it, have it in our menu very shortly as well. The main things that we're going to want to look at though is we're going to want to download these two files right here. Samsung drivers and Odin. Those are our main two things right there that we're going to need. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on those. Both of those should automatically start downloading. Now I'm using Microsoft Edge. Every Windows computer or Windows 10 computer should have this. Um, and what I just clicked on was view downloads. What that's going to do is that's going to open up on your right hand side the things that you just downloaded. You're going to go ahead and you're going to install Windows, uh, or I'm sorry, Samsung drivers. Okay, and you're going to get a window that looks just like this. You're going to hit yes, okay. And then the installation is going to come up looking just like this. It's just like any standard installation. You're going to hit next. It's going to already have your country specified based off your computer. You're going to hit next again. And you're going to hit next to just install. And then the installation doesn't take long. Probably takes about 30 seconds. Um, if that usually. It's very easy. I'll let this run through. So that way you can see how long it's going to take. Okay, so good. Now you're going to hit finish. We have Odin that we just downloaded as well. Okay, we're going to double click on that. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to drag this to the desktop. Now I've already dragged this to my desktop, so it's already there. But I would suggest to just go basically go like that, copy to desktop, and it's going to copy it over to your desktop. I already saved it on the desktop, so we have it here. The next thing you're going to do is open up the Odin folder. In that Odin folder, you're going to have two files. You want to run that exe. Okay, that's going to bring up this screen right here. It's going to have a lot of buttons. Most buttons you don't have to worry about. Just to be on the safe side, double check options. You want only these two boxes selected. Auto reboot, F dot reset time. What you're going to want to do is have the, we're going to give you a link for the firmware. The firmware is very easy. It's on our main page. You go to firmware over on the top. You click on firmware. It brings you to our firmware page. You go to the device that you're looking for. Select the model or carrier. Select the Android version. Most likely we're going to need you to downgrade. You're going to select the downgraded one, which is 5.1.1. 6.0.1 is the new firmware that they just came out with. So what you're going to do at that point is you're going to have Odin, you're going to have Odin open. You're going to click on AP. I have this note, note five. That's what I'm going to do. I'll show you the device. This is the device right here. It is currently on six point, or I'm sorry, 5.1.1. We're going to go and update this to 6.0.1. I'll show you that it's on 5.1.1. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on that, select it. It's going to take about two or three minutes. So just bear with it. In the meantime, I'm going to pause this video. I also want to point out that during this time, Odin will be non-responsive. That's okay. It's loading the firmware. It's large. It's a large file. So give it just a moment. Firmware is now loaded. Now what we're, what we're going to want to do with the phone is, okay, as you can see, I want to try to make it so you can see this a little bit better. Okay, we have a Note 5. The device is still powered on. What we're going to want you to do is power off the device.
Okay, then what we're gonna need you to do is hold us, you're gonna hold these buttons and you're gonna hold it in this order and you're gonna continue to hold them until the phone powers on. Volume down, home, and power. You're gonna hold them at the same time. I'll try to do it here with one hand as I'm using a phone to record this video. Okay, so you're gonna hold all three buttons at the same time. Okay. And that's going to bring it into a blue screen like this. You have volume up to continue, cancel to restart the phone, or a home button to show barcode. In this case, we want to have volume up to continue. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my USB cord that I have. And what we're going to do is we're going to want to take this end this end of the cord, plug it into our PC. Okay. And you're going to hear, let me make sure the volume is turned up. You're going to hear when you plug this in, you're going to hear a sound in your computer. Okay. I'll show you the sound on the computer. You'll you'll hear that it's connected. You just heard that at that point it connected. Also, at the same time, you're going to have a COM port. Com, in this case, it's COM three. Okay. And since it's been added, it's very simple at this point. You just hit start, and it's going to go ahead and it's going to start. And you're gonna—it's gonna—it's gonna flash the whole, the entire firmware. It's gonna take probably about five minutes uh, to flash the firmware. If there was a problem because of this Odin here, which is pretty stable and 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 helps out and it's pretty easy to use, user friendly, it would have already failed right now, and your phone would have still been able to boot up with just with no problem. Um, so don't worry about it. It does not break your phone. We will not steer you in the wrong direction. Um, but this, I'll let this go ahead and uh, flash the firmware, and then um, we'll go ahead and resume the video. Okay, and as you can see, it's almost done. Um, some computers might not do this as fast as others. This computer's uh, kind of fast, so it, um, it does do it at a decent speed. And you'll see when it's done, it'll actually tell you the speed that it's... Uh, let's see, the phone's still in this state. They'll tell you how fat, how long it took. Two minutes and 15 seconds. Phone is currently now booting up. Now, some situations it might not boot up. Um, and if you have to downgrade, it, it'll, it'll get stuck at the boot logo. This is normal. In that situation, what you're going to want to do is hold both volume up and down buttons and power, and that would automatically turn off the phone and put you in a mode where you can hit recover, where you can go into recovery by selecting volume up, home, and power. I'll show you when the phone boots how to do that. But in that, in, in that, when you get into that menu, which I'll also show you, you have the option of factory reset. You're going to want to do a factory reset on your phone. And that will get the device later booted. Okay, we're going to let this boot up. First boot always takes a while, so we'll let this do its thing. And I'll resume the video after the boot is done. Flash is now complete. It's been done. As you can see now, we are on six point zero point one. Um, everything is normal. Device doesn't it's not like this is a rooted thing or anything like that. There's just plain stock firmware. Um, very simple. Let me go ahead and show you about the factory reset as well. Okay. 
And I'll show you exactly how it is if it doesn't if it doesn't boot up. Okay, you have the phone. Now if it doesn't boot up right, hold volume up, volume down, home. I probably won't be able to do this part though. But as you see, the device turned off. You're going to hit volume up. When, as soon as it goes black, as soon as it goes black, you're going to hit volume up, home, and power. Okay? I'll show you that. Let me pause this video. I'll get in that mode, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, first of all, it's going to have installing system update. It's going to be the first thing. And it's going to say no command. Now you're going to have a series of, men of options here. What you're going to want to do is, and also we also ask some people what their what Android version it's on. This is where you can find what Android version it's on. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is use the up and down buttons to select them. Wipe data factory reset, and you're going to use power button to select that. And then you have the option of yes and no. You're going to select yes because you have to do a factory reset and your power to do it. It's going to tell you it's wiping data, formatting data. That's okay. Boot wipe complete. Verifying DM Verity hash tree. Successfully verified. And that's it. And I'll reboot the phone automatically. And that's how that's how you do it. If you have any other questions. Hit us up on the chat, but other than that, that should give you a pretty good idea of how to use Odin. Step-by-step um, -step instructions. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks again. We appreciate your business very much.